This is BGMT, and we're at the John Rylands Library, which took nine years to build, which, funny enough, is the exact same time it took cameraman Rory to complete reading Spot the Dog. Was it good, Rory? Yeah. You didn't finish it, did you? Nah. Meanwhile, in the auditorium, we can't spot the Simon, who appears to be running late. But at least our next act has been spotted at registration. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Britain's Got Talent. What's your name? Uh, my name is Chris Lee Weffy. Loving the T-shirt. It's amazing what you can pick up in a sale. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, my name is Chris Lee Weffy. I'm 32 years old and I'm a one-liner prop comic. Hello. Hello, Stephen. How are you? Hello, I'm, I'm fine, thank you. Yes. You yeah. seem very happy. Oh, I am. I've been in London Palladium. See, I thought you were going to say, yes, I'm really happy because I'm in the Britain's Got More Talent studio. Are you pleased to be here? Oh, I am. I want your opinion. They've started to call this here a studio. What do you make of that? Well, it's a bit basic, isn't it? Yes, it is a bit basic. <laughs> Would you like a little tour of the studio? I'd love a tour of the studio. Is that good for you? Oh, yes. Nothing more than I'd love. Than a... <laughs> I love his enthusiasm. It's the only thing keeping me going. Over it, you'd think that you were in the bill. <laughs> I've never seen anybody use a radio on this show. We've got the battery recharging system. All of here. And more radios. OK. We've got a star, a few lamps, a few of those, and whatever they're called. And a few boxes. boxes. Everything you see out goes in the boxes. Over here, you'll see these are just black drapes, not even a wall. Mm. What's behind there? Well, I'll show you that in a minute. That's part of the tour. <laughs> Over here, you'll see this is the catering department. It's a lovely spread. Yeah, isn't it? Variety. <laughs> lovely spread, yeah. yeah. Now, over here, Chris, this is at the props department. Okay. Where we get all the stupid little things from. Yeah. Here's what they call the yard. Oh, the yard, yeah. Because it literally, you just dump whatever you want in it. Look, empty boxes, nothing. A tip. Yeah. Um, this is now wardrobe. Okay. There's the ironing board. Sum that okay. up. Okay. Um, sad. I have to get changed here. Really? And they don't think I see them peeking round. Dump yard number two. Wonky donkey. Okay. okay. I'll tell you what, we've got our money's worth out of that oh, this yeah. year. <laughs> I was going to say, look at that. Silver, silvery silver sandpaper sort of thing. Honestly, mate. Yeah. Look, here's the other bits. Oh, wow. That was if you. <laughs> From the front, it looks a bit <laughs> it showbiz. Does. It's showbiz, it does look showbiz. From the back. Absolute tat. Yeah. Thank you, Chris. We said that together. <laughs> Good work. Keep going. Let's go. I've yeah, never been on. round this bit. <laughs> Keep going. This is like we're on safari. And over here is the green room. The green room. Hi. Don't even ask. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there we are. Wow. And we are back to where we started. It was. Uh, well, it was quite a journey we went on. Wasn't it just? How would you describe what you just seen? It's very, very cheap. <laughs> Welcome to Britain's Got More Talent. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Uh, my name is Chris Leeworthy. So, uh, are you a comedian? Uh, yeah, I'm a one-liner prop comic. Brilliant. Um, I've come up today from Devon. All right, darling. Good luck. Thank you. Keep funny, Chris. Good evening, London. Good, Good evening, evening, Chris. Chris. Let's hear it for protein powder. Way! <laughs> I had a medical condition where I could smell coconut from 10 metres away, which was ideal for my first job because I was a bounty hunter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this. <laughs> I've got some sad news. Um, unfortunately, today, my obese parrot died. Oh. It is, however, a huge weight off my shoulders. <laughs> I spent a lot of my youth, actually, at a correctional facility. I worked Saturdays at a Tipex factory. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? Look at that. A, uh, portrait of a gardener. Landscape gardener, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> I like that he finds them as yeah. funny as we do. <laughs> After the gig this evening, uh, I'm off to the cinema. I don't know if you've seen this advertised. There's a film coming out called Tractor the Movie. Has anyone seen this? They've just released the extended trailer. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Little fact for you, actually. I used to have a third nipple. Yeah, feels good to get that off my chest. <laughs> I've actually, I'm in the process of writing another nipple joke, but at the moment just tweaking it a little bit. So, uh, 
I've, uh, I've recently taken up blindfolded archery. Uh, have you ever tried blindfolded archery, David? No. No, no. you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> quickly tell you, whilst I was at a gig the other week, actually, someone broke into my house and they stole everything from my utility room, apart from a very small pot of fabric softener. I suppose that's some comfort. Um, <laughs> lovely, thank you very much. <laughs> Chris, Chris, I love that. Oh, thank you, David. You're a very funny guy. You've either got it or you haven't with comedy, and you have in spades. Well done. Lucia, the act's kind of a bit rough around the edges, and that's what makes it brilliant. Thank you. Yeah, I loved it. It was very funny. <laughs> yeah, I loved it. It was really silly. We're going to take a vote. Okay. David? It's a yes from me. Yay. Lucia? It's a yes from me. Thank you, Lucia. And it's a yes from me. Thank you very much. So as Chris gets the lift he needs... Let's take this show to another level. Because, earlier on ITV, security guard Brian Howe came on stage and told a complete lie. If you were Simon Cowell's security guard, would you take a bullet for him? See, I would, yeah. And then he did this. Bye, bye, lollipop. He got four yeses. No, he didn't. That was also a lie. <laughs> but I wanted to get the truth about being a security guard. Right, I need tips on how to become security. Tip number one, please. Here. Here. Really? You do? OK. Tip number two, please. This. You need a rough face. Yes. Because otherwise... People aren't going to listen to you. Correct. Because they need to be slightly scared. That's correct. Mm hmm Tick number three, please. The, the voice. Old... The voice? The voice. Oh, I wasn't yeah, expecting that one. Some. <laughs> <I hate some. laughs> Does it have to be Scottish? No, you can do whatever voice you want. Can you be the person? So I've got something to work with. Yes. So... Hey, you can't come in here, buddy. Hey. Because you have had too many drinks. No. Yeah, I can no, smell it. Let me in there. Shoo, yeah. shoo, shoo. And it works. What else? The pattern down. Yeah, you got hands. Should I practice the pattern down? Yes. I think yeah. that's, uh, what's that camera, Rory? No, you can't. <laughs> you cheeky. Spread up. <laughs> Right, so you've been at the door now for nearly three and a half hours. Yep. We've done the search. Yeah. I've I've thoroughly done my job. Yeah. Yeah. The bad news is, club shut. Oh. Anyway.